Hello and welcome to my tutorial series on how to model low poly vegetables in Blender. This is part 9 and today we are going to model some tomatoes. This is the finished model and as always I designed this so we can follow along very easily. First of all let's set up our reference background image. By pressing shift A go to image and background. Now we can start to put a mesh into our scene, which is a UV sphere. And I put the segments and rings to 16 because we don't need that much geometry. Let's scale the sphere down a bit. And I'll scale it in the z-axis by pressing S for scale, then Z for scaling in the z-axis. Let's get into edit mode by pressing the tab key. And now we can create a little indentation by selecting this middle vertex here, enabling the proportional editing tool by pressing O on your keyboard. Let's set our model to shade smooth by right clicking on the model in object mode and select shade smooth. And now we can add a displace modifier. We create a new texture by pressing plus new. Go to the texture tab and choose clouds. We can scale up the size a bit and here we will scale down the overall size of the displacement. Alright, this looks much more organic now. Now we can model the stem part of the tomato by pressing Shift A and we'll add a cylinder. Set the vertices to 5 to create this shape. And now we can scale it down and place it on the top of the tomato. Now in edit mode, put in some loop cuts by pressing Command and R. You can set an inset here by pressing I on the keyboard. And by moving the mouse you can set the size of this inset. Repeat the step to create this shape right here and also shade it smooth. Now we want to select all these faces around the top here by pressing Alt and left click on the faces. And now in face we can extrude faces individually. Extrude again and then change your transformation pivot point to individual origins and scale these faces down. Let's repeat that. And now we can select some of these edge loops here 
by pressing Alt and left click on the edges and by grabbing them in the Z axis by pressing G for grab then Z for grabbing Z axis we can put them into place. Now we can select the middle face here and by pressing the E key we can extrude this in the Z axis by pressing Z. Rotate this face by pressing R and extrude again to create this part here. For now let's head into the shading tab and create a new material by pressing plus new. To create a little bit more detail we will add a noise texture and by pressing shift A and typing into the search bar you can just type noise and select the noise texture. Combine this with the color ramp. And tweak the handles until you are happy with the result. We are doing this to create some different areas of reflection on the surface of the tomato. To do that, plug your color ramp into the roughness input of your shader. And now you can see some parts of the tomato are more reflective than others. Now let's work on the green material by selecting it with the left mouse button. Create a noise texture as well. Add a color ramp to it. And this time with this setup we are going to manipulate the displayed colors. So plug it into the base color input. and choose two different colors to display. You can always add a third color or even some more by pressing the plus sign on the color ramp. And if you want to model a single tomato, this is it for the modeling part then. As you have seen in the start of the video, I'm going to create a so-called wrap of tomatoes. So let's get back to modeling. Add another cylinder here and scale it down in X and Y by pressing S for scale then Shift Z. Rotate it around the X axis by pressing R, X and then 19 and hit enter.
let's combine the body of the tomato and the stem. First apply all the modifiers, then select the two parts and press command J. Let's duplicate these tomatoes by pressing Shift and D. And place this wrap in the middle. Now insert some loop cuts by pressing Command and R. And by scrolling the middle mouse wheel, you can set the amount of loop cuts. Let's grab these loop cuts by pressing Alt and left click. And give it some randomness. Now we're going to add a displacement for this stem too. And we can choose the cloud modif cloud texture that we used earlier. Now all we have to do is connect the single tomatoes with the stem. So select one tomato right here, press tab to get into edit mode, select this top face here and now we can extrude, rotate and scale them into place. For the part that intersects with the wrap itself, let's scale the face up a bit to create this kind of knob. Now we can grab our model and rotate it by pressing R and grab it by pressing G and put it into the right place. And of course you can model each of these uh, stems individually, but you also can just duplicate this one tomato by pressing Shift D. Now all you have to do is give the stem or wrap the right material and choose the same material then for the stems and this is your finished model. If you're trying this tutorial and want to show me your work and maybe get showcased in one of my future videos, you can send me your take on this via Twitter or Instagram. Speaking of showcasing your work in my video, thank you Birnbaum for trying the carrot tutorial and definitely 
check out his Instagram. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification button to keep yourself updated on new videos and tutorials. Thanks for watching and have fun creating!